We did best shooters, we did another best shooters, but what about the guys who just don't care about any of these long distance shenanigans and prefer to get right into the center of action? In this video, we are listing the best NBA slashers of all time. Number 10. Rajon Rondo Rajon Rondo of Boston had been criticized for having poor jump shooting ability. But because of his ability to slash to the basket, he has managed to maintain a lifetime shooting percentage of 48.2%. In fact, his poor jump shot might have been to his advantage, because defenses frequently gave him room to move and set up his drives to the basket. With the ball in his hands, Rondo was one of the league's fastest players, effortlessly avoiding defenders while looking for the ideal route to the basket. Rondo had great hands and excellent ball handling, as well as excellent ball control and security. With all the ball fakes he could employ, it was very challenging to defend them. He throws his defenders in place with sophisticated behind-the-back fakes and a variety of movements that would leave them perplexed, even though they knew he was going straight to the basket. Who knows what would have happened if he had developed a consistent jump shot. Number 9. Tony Parker Tony was a literal virtuoso when it comes to attacking the rim. And he had to. He was small and relatively unathletic, but he didn't want it to be his excuse. He actually led the league in points scored in the paint at one point. He was among the league's fastest players, and his small frame allowed him to maintain a low center of gravity at all times, supporting his movements however crazy they were. His spin moves were absolutely iconic, and obviously he was also the master of floaters, the point guard's bread and butter. He fit in perfectly around teammates like Team Duncan and Manu with his style of play and helped the Spurs win 4 championships. Did you know he also had a music career? Wasn't even that bad, if you understand French. Number 8. Jamal Crawford At one point, he was regarded the best street ball style player, second to only Iverson. There aren't many players in NBA history whose style of play looks literally taken from the end one league. Jamal could finish with a variety of moves and use his clever dribbling and speed to get past defenders. He could be highly inventive in how he finished, which made his opposition wonder what he was going to do next. Not the biggest of players, but he was able to take a surprising amount of contact. And most importantly, tell me who has never tried to replicate his shake and bake. It might be the only move that made me break my own ankles. Number 7. Manu Ginobili Ginobili was undoubtedly one of the NBA's best 5 slashers a few years ago. Manu used his superb ball handling and canning movements to elude opponents and slash his way to the basket. For a good while, he has regularly been among the industry's most inventive finishers. During the Spurs' championship years, Manu's slicing skills were crucial. And obviously, we can't forget about the move that made him famous, the Euro step. So simply and so difficult, he made it look easy. Many other players have later taken inspiration from Manu and perfected the Euro. Players like Harden or Yanis. Number 6. Russell Westbrook Russell's rim attacks are legendary. He is absolutely relentless, he does not care. He also possesses one of the greatest competitive spirits in NBA history. How else could the 6'3 career triple-double champion accumulate such a wide range of stats? He is a natural slasher and everybody knows it sagging off of him from miles away. His jump shot is so stiff and artificial, it's a miracle the ball ever gets near the hoop. Yet somehow, he still has moments where he just looks unstoppable. It's so crazy, but supposedly he had never dunked a basketball until the last game of his senior year in high school. He must have fallen in love with it then, because that seems to have been his bread and butter. Russell uses his tremendous driving skills to open up opportunities for his teammates by dismantling even the toughest defenses and is undoubtedly one of the NBA's most athletic players. He can leap 3 feet in the air and use his incredible leaping abilities to fly toward the hoop. He has a lot in common with Rondo when you think about it. Learn how to shoot, Russ. Number 5. Yanis Antetokounmpo Yanis Antetokounmpo, the former NBA champion, is like a man taken straight out of a piece of art with his build. He will go down as one of the greatest athletes in the history of any sport because of the length of his limbs and his unearthly lift in legs. 
he can drive to the rim with ease. It should be against the law to be 7 feet tall with so much strength and agility while being in your peak years. Giannis didn't need to shoot outside as frequently during the playoffs as any other superstar would have since his drives to the basket were equally as effective. Nobody can guard him one on one, coaches are forced to create complex defensive schemes to impede his scoring. The Greek freak is an absolute beast in the paint and becomes more and more dangerous by adding an ever more reliable jump shot to his arsenal. Number 4. Derrick Rose Rose reminds me of a young Allen Iverson with his drives to the hoop. We all know his history of injuries, however, the youngest MVP ever excelled at his body control, which may have been his biggest strength. Rose could stretch and contour himself in seemingly absurd ways several times each night to get a shot off from an amazing angle, and majority of the time those shots would connect, giving Rose yet another moment for his own highlight reel. He had a unique ability to combine speed and power. Rose could suddenly explode toward the hoop using his incredible 40 inch vertical. Shooting was considered to be his weakness, but due to a lightning quick first step and blinding speed, he was swift enough to go past defenders even if they were sagging off of him. Even if Rose was cut off by help defense, he could change directions quickly and with excellent body control. He is the definition of slashing point guard. Number 3. Michael Jordan the ghost of Chicago had so many talents and skills that it is easy to forget his superb ability to simply drive and get the points the old-fashioned way. Thanks to his near 50-inch vertical, his airness was able to twist and turn his body mid-air, avoiding defenders and also giving us one of the best highlights ever to admire. He had great hands and an incredible ability to focus, which enabled him to absorb contact, keep his eyes on the target and still put the ball through the hoop. And of course, if he didn't feel like doing any of that, he could just jump over you and dunk on you. His competitiveness was unmatched. He would do anything to show you that you can't defend him. He could blow past you, even though you knew where he was going. The fact that his slashing ability is considered to be only his second or third best option only speaks to his greatness as a player overall. Number 2. LeBron James Remember the times when LeBron entered the NBA map? His versatility at 6 foot 8 and 250 pounds was the key to his early superstardom. The fact that he could control his big frame in the way he did was unheard of. He will use a step back to score threes while operating at the left elbow just outside the arc before destroying the opposition with bully drives to the rim. Because he is ambidextrous and his dexterity is an underappreciated aspect of his game, he can finish with any hand. Obviously, the NBA leading scorer doesn't possess the athleticism as he once had, so he switched his game over to more technical aspects of the game, such as post moves and shooting. Make no mistake, when he launches the freight train, you better move out of the way, or he will do it himself. Number 1. Dwayne Wade Wade is a short shooting guard who stands at 6 foot 4. Nonetheless, each time he drove the lane, he would challenge defenders relentlessly. When LeBron was on the heat, he and D-Wade on the court, the two best slashers in the NBA, playing together caused teams a lot of problems. Wade could get between defenders with ease as he made his way to the hoop thanks to his lightning quick track speed. Dwayne Wade made almost impossible shots that managed to get past the net by squeezing into the paint and bending his body in all ways. In the NBA, his body control was unmatched. He was able to keep his center of gravity super low on his drives allowing him to explode and take on all sorts of contact near the hoop. And of course, we can't forget his Euro step. Wade would make it look so smooth and so easy. Even in his later seasons, Wade was unmatched when it comes to finishing at the rim. There wasn't much a help defender could do once he beat his man. Do you agree with our list? If you don't, we can take it outside. I mean, to the comments section. Anyway, take a half a second and leave a like if you learned something new. And see you next time.